Alright, so today I'm going to be pretty much talking about canon utils, what it is, blah blah blah. And pretty much long story short, if you don't really want to watch this whole thing or listen to this whole thing of me you know, speaking, because like I take forever to explain things, I'm not very great at explaining things, obviously, um, sometimes. Um, it's pretty much I'm just making a free open source canon mod, and I also brought back my TNT calculator can uh, Discord bot. Uh, so my canon bot will also be in the Discord as well. Um, so that's that, and I just finally found the motivation one day to bring it back. So, to start, pretty much what Canon Utils is going to be, is like I just said, it's going to be a free and open source um, Canon mod. Uh, what's nice about it being free is that anybody can use it, and the part that's open source means anybody can see its code, see it's not whatever, you know, it's not malicious, I would like, to, I, I don't know, or like, ratted or whatever blah, blah blah anybody can check it themselves it's not gonna have any obfuscation whenever you have download it so um i will show a way to uh check you know if somebody sends you a not legit version of it or a non-legit version of it i'll probably leave like a little guide or something like that in the discord or something just take it from the discord like if you're banned from the discord just dm me or something and i can just send you it um or whatever i don't know up to, you know, how you choose to download it, but I recommend just to download it from Discord only for your own safety, blah, blah, blah. Um, anyways, the nice part about this being, also also about this being open source, is that anybody can add on to it, it themselves. They can, you know, send in modules that they create or something, right? And that's really nice, because then, with this mod, right, Anybody can add something to themselves that they make. Obviously, you know, commands. Um, commands are not really as easy to add to the mod itself. I mean, I mean, it really isn't that hard to add, but... Yeah. As you see, I'm kind of just showing off some of the things here, as I, you know, I'm just kind of doing it as I speak. But, I mean, I'm showing off, like, explosion boxes right now. This is kind of, like, the first part, this first thing made with it, besides the GUI and everything. GUI, GUI, whatever you want to call it. Shoutouts to Dan or X, XYZ, whichever one you know him as. Um, he made fact kills, but he's the one who made the G GUI slash GUI, whichever one you want to call it, like I said. And also the module system, as um, he and I worked on something back in February that used this module system, and we originally were going to work on something together that uses GUI, but uh, sadly, I never actually wanted to continue doing it because it was kind of a project that would have not gotten anywhere, as I kind of saw it, and would have been a waste of my time. Um, anyways, so, another thing about the mod is it's going to be canning based, uh, meant for the canning experience, I guess. So there's going to be something, there's going to be things that will really help people with, you know, canning itself. So in canning, when I can, I only need, I personally only think that I need good FPS, which is why I use fact utils over, like, Orbit, Falcon. Um, I haven't even tried Crest of Crown, I can't be asked to download something else, I think it's just effort. I already have something installed, but, um, like, against Orbit and Falcon, those don't have, like, um, like, the TNT optimizations that Fact Utils has, and Fact Utils, you know, I get really good FPS with when canning, because, you know, it has really good, you know, TNT optimizations here for rendering, um, so that's one thing, and so personally, I only really need good FPS, the ability to see as much TNT as I can with good FPS, I mean, I like explosion boxes. I don't need it. It's not a necessity for me, but it's super useful to have. Um, uh, let, let me think. It, it's super good. It, it's it, To me, it's, like, really useful to have. And, I mean, that's that's a nice thing about it. Um, I mean, X-Ray, like I said, uh, I like World at CY, which is just, you select two points, and you can use a keybind to toggle it to see where point one and point two will be. Um, that's really useful. I only really need, like, those three things. FPS, X-Ray, well, I guess four things. Explosion boxes, World at CY. Those are some of the really nice things that I like having about it. I mean, like, I probably use some other stuff when I, you know, can, and obviously, like, Block overlay is really nice. I mean, being able to like auto click is really nice. Canning when you build cannons and such. Um, but yeah, that's that. But this is meant to, you know, this is gonna help with the canning experience. Blah blah. blah. Um, another thing is, is that I'm not the only person working on this mod. 
um it's gonna be me and three others so far there might be more people in the future to come and work on it with us it's meant to just be a thing for fun and whatever um so so far it's just me devjg skybird 77 cairo crypts you probably have heard at least one of those people before um dev was operator on crystal uh cairo crypts um if you know him you probably know him for his code um, Skybird, you might know him from One Shot MC, because, I mean, that's where he mainly canon, or you might even know him from Psycho, and DevJG, you also might know him from Psycho Zombie Realm, or, like I just said, he was, uh, or from Crystal, but, anyways, I mean, like, those, that's who are, was working on this currently, um, another thing about the thing is, is that, um, you will see, if you look through its code, you will see some information get sent to a server, and what I mean by that is that it's only gathering information from a server nothing is sent to a server from this mod all it does is that it's if you read it closely or you have somebody read the code for you you can easily see that all i'm doing is i am get, getting a string from a server and what that is it's just a string of tags it's just a bunch of whatever and you probably know what strings are from you know getting ss or whatever on, on a fact server but Pretty much, um, all I'm doing is I'm downloading a bunch of names, and whenever a player either joins a world, or whenever you launch the game. So, all it's doing is similar to how Orbit chain has a custom tag above a player's head, um, above a player's name. I'm actually having a custom name for players, so it would change your, it would change, replace the part where it says, if I had... A rank 5SI and then whatever the faction name was for example or even just 5SI above my head it replaced the part where it says 5SI with something else and it also comes with colors and stuff and um, if anybody wants a custom name um, I will have the format in the description if anybody wants a custom name, you can send me it whatever um, and I can add it because you don't even have to relaunch your game or anything to find see like if new names are loaded in because every single time that you pretty much join a server it's going to reload those names and sometimes even while you're on a server it will reload it too which is really nice so you don't even have to relaunch your game for to see somebody to see new names a name i just added for example so that's a really nice thing um i mean besides that i mean there's not really much else to say um we're open suggestions i'll make a suggestion channel or something and um yeah, I'll leave this Discord invite in the description. I don't know if I missed anything or if there's anything else that I should say. But, um, yeah, that's it. If, I mean, if anybody has questions, feel free to DM me. If anybody wants to know, uh, see certain things or, you know, anybody thinks that, uh, you know, certain things could be done differently or if somebody, you know, anything at all, just, you can just DM me, DM any of us, and, you know, we'll, be, we'll respond. So, yeah, that's it.